Darlings, so today I'm going to do this look. It's a full face of Charlotte Tilbury. If you really like that look in my Charlotte's lipstick swatches, I will link that video here. Uh, so I thought I recreate it today. It is like my go-to summer makeup. I've used 99.9% .9 of Charlotte's products. There's only, I think, two products that are not from Charlotte's. And I won't be going into detail about each product because the next video you will see will be my entire collection of Charlotte Tilbury's makeup. And I will go a bit more into detail, detail in that video about each product, if I like it or not. Um, also, just a disclaimer, I've bought all this stuff myself. Uh, it is all bought with my own money. So first of all, I'm going to apply the Magic Cream. I love the smell of it. Some, someone said that it smells of roses, but I don't think it smells of roses. It smells nice. Um, I haven't had it long enough to tell you what I think about it. It is a beautiful cream. It's nice and thick, but as you can see, goes in really really quickly so let's use that darling she always pats it in like this the next thing i'm going to apply is the hollywood flawless filter and i have two colors i have the four medium and six dark tan the four probably will be good for the winter um as you will see it is quite light Whereas the dark one is good for when you have a tan, especially if you want to wear it by itself. So that's the tan. But I'm going to mix, mix two of them. And with all these products, that I'm using today, the face products, I really, I've been applying it with my hands and I like it to be applied with my hands. It's also emollient that your hands work really nice with that. So as you can see, it gives me beautiful glow and I also feel like this gives you a bit of coverage. Okay, the next thing I'm going to use is the Light Wonder Foundation and mine is in 7 medium. And I am going to apply that with my fingers. I shake it, I don't know if you have to shake it, but I shake it. This is a perfect color for me right now. Now this foundation is very glowy. It feels like a moisturizer. It's gorgeous and you're supposed to have medium um, light coverage but I feel like it has better coverage than medium and maybe uh, the Hollywood filter helps as well because I feel like that gives you a bit of coverage too it is just so easy to apply because it does not feel like a foundation so I've tried to build this up with a beauty sponge. So I squeeze some on my beauty sponge, but to be honest, it doesn't, you can't build it up to like full coverage. It gives tiny bit more coverage, but, but I'm fine with it. I don't know, it just makes your face look so lovely and smooth that it does not bother me that I can see some imperfections on my skin. So if you want full coverage, this is definitely not for you. But you see, like, it's really covered my um, pigmentation. Not completely, but it just gives you that glow. It gives you a glow, but you know, like some glowy foundations can make you look greasy and sweaty this doesn't so okay the next thing i'm going to use is the magic away liquid concealer and mine is in number five 
now this concealer is beautiful but it's not my favorite because it doesn't give much coverage i sort of put i build it up and i sometimes when i finish my makeup i will go go over with it again and um, but it's so creamy that it doesn't look like you've put too much if you know what i mean it is a lovely concealer you've got a window here showing you how much you've got left and um, I don't think there is much concealer in there because I feel like this is running out quite quickly again I'm patting it with my finger I just feel like with this face products finger works really really good i might go over it with a sponge but so like these products won't really cover like my nose you know my nose repels foundation as it is so I definitely need to use um, some concealer on my nose that covers a bit more so I'm going to do that I will just use a bit of Jeffree Stars because that's what I've got here as you can see it's also glowy but that's what charlotte's makeup is about isn't it just about this lovely glowy look okay so that's my base finished i will probably use the concealer again now uh, for the powder she has only two powders she has the airbrush flawless finish and mine is in number two medium they only come in three colors you can see i've used quite a lot of it my big powder brush I feel like I don't want to really um, powder this foundation much because I love the glow that it gives you so I've got option of two bronzers I've got one from the love garden palette but this one is quite dark so it's a bit better maybe for contouring and then I've got uh, one in this palette which is the instant look in a palette this one's been discontinued but in here I have the star film star bronzer and highlighter so I can use the <clears throat> bronzer from here let me maybe do a little contour with the love garden And then for the rest, I will use the Fil Filmstar bronzer. This bronzer is lovely tone and it's uh, very, very smooth. Everything seems so smoothing um, on the face from her brand. so here where i don't have everything from charlotte tilbury the brows um because that's what i would do now is the brows um you know i love the legendary brow and mine is in linda and that's the only brow product i use from charlotte tilbury i've never tried her eyebrow pencil for the simple reason that i don't like that you know her pencils are this triangular shape i like my very fine micro pencils so i will use something else of camera but with this if you have good brows this is amazing on its own um, I put it on as a sort of primer I've got very pathetic thin brows over plugged brows and some of them are gray so I like to prime my brows with it it will it will set them a bit because it's like a gel and I can see every hair of my brow. I wait for it to set and then I will go in with a pencil. Okay, brows are done. Um, 
If you want to see my eyebrow routine, I will link it in the description box. I am not really faithful to any pencils so much. I have some favorites, but I try lots of them, but I always use these two. So I use the Charlotte's Legendary Brow and I always finish off with the Benefit 24 hour brow setter. Let's do the cheeks. So uh, let's use, I mean, I've got lots of options because I have some um, blushes here in this palette. I have these ones, but I think today I'm going to use her um, Cheek to Chic blusher in Love is the Drag. It's a beautiful, it's quite, I know these blushes look like boobs nipple in the middle but it's fun um, I swish it all together I don't do the outside and inside beautiful blushes you have to be quite careful because they are quite pigmented and things on a camera look always more pigmented than in real life now for my highlighter um, I could use the Hollywood Beauty Wand or I could use the Hollywood Flawless Filter. So I think I might use the Hollywood Flawless Filter and I'm using the lighter one in Fall Medium. It depends how bright you want your highlighter. Let me show you this one. This one is much brighter. Well, the Hollywood filter, if you got it in a lighter color, would be brighter as well. But they are just gorgeous. They just melt into your skin, even if you have powder on. And then I will top it up with the Filmstar highlighter. So if you have the a film star bronzer and highlighter that's exactly the same thing I am glowing okay let's do the eyes so uh, in that video for the eyes I use the stars in your eyes palette and I use the love eyes which is the well I use these two colors and then I use that one from happy eyes now, this was limited edition, which I'm very sad about. Absolutely love these shadows, but Pillow Talk is a bit similar. So if you look at the first three shades in, a, in Love Eyes, Pillow Talk is very similar. I would say Pillow Talk is a bit more, tad more pinky, whereas the Love Eyes in Stars in Your, in your Eyes, it's a bit more peachy. So you can achieve the same look with Pillow Talk, but I'm going to use this because that's what I had in a lip swatch video. But before that, I am going to apply Eyes to Mesmerize in Jean. This is another beautiful product. I'm just going to apply that on my mobile lid. It acts a bit as a primer and also the eyeshadow will stick to it. These are gorgeous. I also have the rose gold one. Okay, now I'm going to take this uh, shimmering peach from Love Eyes and I'm going to apply it on top of Jean. And this shadow is beautiful. I have a, a palette in mind, like a quad that she could do that I would buy over and over again. I hate that when they discontinue or they do like limited editions, you fall in love with it and then you can't buy it anymore. It's beautiful. Taking smaller brush and really packing it on. I will run out of this eyeshadow in no time. Now I'm bringing that shadow on a one third of my 
in a lower lash line as well now I'm going to take on a very small crease brush this is Louise Yang LY38B I'm going to take this brown from Happy Eyes and I'm just going to apply it right above my crease where I can see it just where I can see it these I don't know but this eyeshadow palette this look makes my eyes look not hooded at all um, it just really opens them up I love this look and of course this is perfect summer color these are perfect summer colors now I'm going to take this shade from Love Eyes on a more of a fluffy brush this is the Jaclyn Hill with Morphe JH32 and I am going to buff it from my crease up quite high up and I'm bringing it here inside of my nose these matte eyeshadows blend like a dream I'm going back to the darker brown from happy eyes and just deepening the crease Now I'm going to take the same dark brown eyeshadow and I'm going to go with it on my lower lash line right up to that shimmering peach and then I'm going to take again that matte shadow from Love Eyes and blend it out underneath go up now I'm going to take um, angled brush like a eyebrow brush and I'm going to go to this dark brown from happy eyes and I will make eyeline from about halfway make a little wing and that's the eyes done I have only a sample of her mascara but I am not going to use it because I'm not a fan so I'm using my uh, NARS Climax and what lipstick shall I use as I've been so much into brights I am going to use today the electric poppy you can use it with one of her lip liners but I found that the MAC beat is a perfect perfect match So this is the finished look 
uh, this is like my go-to summer makeup the foundation lasts beautifully all day it stays nice and luminous it doesn't get any more luminous i would say at least on me um i just love it uh, and i hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching darlings and stay fabulous bye